Hey there everyone, happy Saturday. It's Barbara with So So Fun and I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Today I'm going to show you, courtesy of my friends Susan and Ursula, they both showed me how to make these really cool baskets this week and I'm going to go ahead and do a quick video and show you guys how to do them also. So let me turn the camera around and let's get started. So you can see these are adorable baskets that you can embroider on. And today I'm going to do a 11 by 15 one. So just a little bit different than the taller ones. So you are going to cut out three pieces, um, three sections, I mean, two pieces of Pelon 808, 11 by 15, two pieces of canvas, 11 by 15, and two pieces of lining, 11 by 15. Once you have that, I want you to iron on your pellon to your interior fabric, whatever interior fabric you're using. Go ahead and iron that, and we'll wait. Okay, now that you have ironed on your pellon 808 to your lining fabric, you're gonna go ahead and take your ruler and do two and a half inches and then you're going to cut that out on all four pieces so your lining fabric and your canvas or outer fabric you're going to want to cut those out so you have two let me stand back nicely squared pieces or four and then this is the time if you're going to embroider anything on here this is when you're going to hoop it and go ahead and start your embroidery which is what i'm going to do next Okay, so now while my machine is busy working on its embroidery, we're gonna go ahead and put right sides together. And I want you to go ahead and sew a half an inch seam allowance here, a half an inch seam allowance here, so both sides, and then the very bottom. But I need you to leave a little bit of a gap here on the sides for turning. So, sew, gap, sew. And that is so you can turn the bag when you're done. Okay, you will see I went ahead, it's hard to tell in this white, but I went ahead and stitched here. And I stitched all the way across here. And I stitched here, but I also back stitched right there just to give it a little bit more strength for when I turn it. And the same thing right here, I did a little back stitch so it has strength from when I turn it. So what I need you to do next is we're gonna go ahead and match up your seams here and then sew the line straight across and that's gonna give that nice boxed look. So go ahead and do that. All right, so you should have your bottoms already cornered and boxed, and this is what the inside looks like. So you have a nice lining going on. So the next step is we're gonna do the same to the canvas or the outer fabric. Unless you are embroidering like I'm doing, this is the time to put your embroidery on your canvas before we went ahead and sewed. Okay, so you have your embroidery done and you're gonna put right sides together and you're gonna sew along this side and then this side and then sew completely across the bottom when you're done with that, I want you to match these two seams and draw, or sorry, sew that straight line across so we have a nice box bottom. Okay, so we have our two box bags. This is the wrong side out, and we are going to match the right sides together. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so you have the right sides together and you have it pinned and lined up. Mine is a little bit larger, so excuse that. And then what you're going to do is if you don't have a serger, go ahead and sew a, a stitch going all the way around 
um, I would say about an eighth of an, you know, an eighth of a um, seam, maybe a quarter of a seam. I wouldn't go more than a quarter though. So what I'm doing on here is I'm just lining my canvas fabric to the edge of my foot and then I'm going to go ahead and sew all the way around. Okay, so you can see I've got my seam going all the way in. So now I'm going to find that couple inch gap that I left open and I'm going to turn my bag inside or right side out. So when you flipped your bag right side outs, you are going to have a nicely lined interior. And then what I went ahead and did, which I showed you just a second ago, is I top stitched all the way around and then just fold it over. A little bit different than my other bags, but just as pretty. And this bag, the beauty of this bag is it is reversible. And let me show you that real quick. So if you don't want to put an embroidery on the inside and you just want to use canvas on the outside and then your nice lining, you can uh, use this as a reversible. So you get two bags in one. Really neat idea. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be um, not so hard on me. This is my first video. So enjoy and show me your products that you made. Show me those cool bags and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend.